Good morning to everybody that follows us in the message for the day. Today is February 24. Today, February 24, 2022, a war has started in Europe. Yesterday, February 23, my little dog Luna that has lived in the ashram with us for the last 16, 17 years now, uh, died. Uh, in, 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 in painful circumstances. So, the title of the message for today is We Color What We See. The mind contains everything. It is your ego that creates this separation. The greatest obstacle on the path to the divine or in becoming one with the divine is that which we call our mind. This is a very important thing. You are not conscious of your memory. Because if you were conscious of your memory, you would be the observer of the memory. Understand this very well, very, very well. You are not conscious of your memory because consciousness and memory can never exist together. You relieve your memory in the space you have created. And by leaving your memory in that space, you have pushed consciousness aside. So, who are you without your story? Like Byron Katie says, who are you without memory? Who are you with all the abilities gained that are there without memory, just with consciousness here and now? Think about it. Although thinking, the intellect's standards of measurement are usually based on circular thoughts, preconceived ideas or association of ideas. Using this, the intellect can evaluate, but is not self-sufficient. Like the senses, it is only an instrument. It is like a light bulb that could not be illuminated if the electric current did not flow through it. The intellect is always dependent on that power which comes to it from that source that resides within you and which enlivens it. And that is consciousness. And that is the self. And it is experienced, the, the, the experience of it can only be described as love. We color everything we see according to our minds. To see perfection in everything, one has to go beyond the mind, beyond the level of thought. To see perfection in everything including in this turmoil, troubled world. So, it's only one day, it's only one practice, it's just for today. So for today, don't use your memory. Forget about yourself. We are finishing the process that will restart again the 21st of March. We are coming to an end now, although we are also beginning, because every end is a beginning. Next year, when you arrive to February 24, you will be able to do this very same practice, an active beyond at least. So, for today, forget about yourself. You do not exist. Only he or it exists. So, thank you very much for listening. Have a beautiful day today. And remember, tomorrow, tomorrow will be another day. Tomorrow, 
will be another practice. Namaste.